In this video, I want to talk about drop shipping. And drop shipping enables you to sell physical products from anywhere. Now, normally, selling a physical product means you need to buy items in bulk from a wholesaler and then resell them on at a marked up price. You deduct any fulfillment costs and keep the difference, and that's called your profit margin. Now, the downside to this is you need a place to store your inventory, a method of shipping and delivery, a method of handling returns, and somewhere that returns can be sent back to, in other words, a permanent address. And this is not a business that you can take on the road very easily. There is a very flexible way of selling physical products, though, and it's called drop shipping. And drop shipping is similar to affiliate marketing. Basically, you sell other people's products from your website in return for a commission. They handle all the fulfillment and returns, and you handle all the marketing and order processing. And the main difference between affiliate marketing and drop shipping is the variety of products available. Now, affiliate marketing tends to deal mainly with digital products. So we're talking things like ebooks, videos, apps, software, and that sort of thing. But you can drop ship a much wider variety of products, though. And we're talking things like tech, appliances, clothing, hobby stuff, auto parts and accessories, you know, the list just goes on and on. In fact, just about every physical product that people want to buy, you can drop ship. Plus, of course, you don't have to carry inventory, you don't need to have a massive warehouse, you don't have to arrange shipping, you don't have to worry about returns, plus you get to set the price that people pay and you can compete against other drop shippers that way so unlike with an affiliate product where you only have a fixed commission with drop shipping you can set your own rate and decide your own profit and you can even do what's known as white label drop shipping where the manufacturer will put your name on the product so as far as the customer is concerned you made it you know what's not to like and the business model works a bit like this. The customer visits your online store and makes a purchase. You handle all of the advertising and the payment processing on your site. You then pass the order on to the wholesaler. Now, sometimes you'll pay the wholesaler with the order and other times the wholesaler will invoice you. It depends. The wholesaler then sends the item onto the buyer and handles any returns. And as far as the buyer is concerned, they're dealing directly with you. The wholesaler or the drop shipper is a silent partner in the whole arrangement. Okay, so how do you go about finding drop shippers or companies that handle drop shipping? Well, there are a few different companies online that can help you out here. Probably the best known site for linking drop shippers and suppliers together is Alibaba, which you can find out more here at alibaba.com. And this is a great site because it has all sorts of different industries listed. And oftentimes you can order stuff directly from the manufacturers in China and elsewhere and get it sent out. And um, they continue to evolve the site and it really is well worth a visit. Other than that, you can do a search in Google for whatever the niche is plus drop shippers. Uh, I'm using clothing for this demonstration, but it can be you know, anything you like really. And then you'll find lots of different drop shippers in all sorts of different places that you can then liaise with directly. Now let's talk about how you go about selling your dropship products. There's a couple of ways that you can do this. You can either sell via your website or blog, or you can sell on sites like Amazon or eBay. 
If you're going to sell via your own website, then a good combination is WordPress and the WooCommerce plugin. And what this does is it basically converts your WordPress blog into an e-commerce platform. And it does actually have a setting for drop shipping. And you can find out more at the WooCommerce website, which is WooCommerce.com. And there are free and paid for versions. You can actually install the free version from within WordPress itself. Just go to plugins do a search for WooCommerce and then you can simply click on the button to install it and follow the on-screen instructions. It's actually quite straightforward. Now, unlike selling affiliate products, you're not sending customers to somebody else's site to process the sale. And you can sell more than one dropshipper's goods in a single transaction. It all goes in the same shopping cart and gets checked out in a single payment. And you can do that on WooCommerce very easily. Another option is to sell on eBay. And lots of dropshippers sell on eBay. In fact, you'd be surprised at the number of items that are for sale on eBay that are actually being dropshipped. And a good way to find out is to see if the same product, the exact same product, keeps showing up under different listings with different prices but looks suspiciously the same. For example, I recently bought this toolkit. You can see here, 35-piece torque bit and ease socket set. And you can see it's there. And if I scroll down, you can see it's there and it's there. And this looks suspiciously the same, but is in a different color packet and so on. So I would hazard a guess that all of these are actually being drop shipped by these various different merchants. And the thing about selling on eBay is, of course, eBay handles all of the processing for you. All you've got to do is place the order with the drop shipper. Now, the great thing about running a drop shipping business is nobody need know that you're on the road. You can set up a mailing address to go on your site and you know, if you're young and still live at home, uh, you could probably use your parents' address and you can add a Skype in number to handle inquiries. So people can dial a local number. It's routed over the internet via Skype to your smartphone and you can answer it just as if you were in the city that they think they're dialing. And of course, if you're selling via eBay or Amazon, all the communication, all the payment processing, etc., is all handled by the site anyway. So there's no real tie between you and the business. It, it's uh, very, very fluid indeed. And you can keep running the business as a sideline or even as a full-time business if or when you become more settled. Or you can even get the business up and running before you leave and while you still have a steady income from your job. So it's a very, very flexible way of making money on the road. For more free educational content, visit learnforfree.biz. Content produced and distributed by AllSuperInfo.